Hey, welcome back to another lecture. This lecture we are going to discuss about system calls. So, what about the system calls? So, this system calls is just direct connection between kernel and system. You can take an example like if you are going to order vegetables through an app. First, you need to select those vegetables. Then the other the order will be placed to other side. So, when the delivery comes, it will take some time. Instead of that, if you go directly to the vegetable market and if you buy vegetables, you will get that more speedily. System calls does that work for us. It calls the system directly. So we have several different system calls. In this lecture, we are going to cover about read and write system calls. And there are other system calls that we will cover in other lectures. So coming to the write and read. So first we take a read system call. And in this read system call, we have first parameter of file descriptor so this file descriptor has different values stored in the table so there are different functions for different file descriptor values for first file descriptor zero value in the read system call means it will take the input from the screen and next parameter is variable that you're going to store and the third parameter is the limit that you're going to give to the input variable that how much it can store similarly to the write system call we have first parameter file descriptor 1 in the read section we have 0 but in write it will be 1 so read takes input from the screen but write displays on the screen by using one file descriptor second is the same parameter input will be stored there through a variable and third is the file length so let's start with the practical section let us create a .c file Use the touch command and create any name that you would like. So after the creating of file.c, we are going to use an editor so that we can write the C programming code. We have a JDIT editor. We can use any other editor if you like. And you can do it manually also by opening the file in GUI. Use the JDIT and now file.c. Now we are going to use hash include unistd dot h so this unistd dot h contains all system call functions now we are going to use int main we are going to use write system call we are going to write hello world in that write system call then the first file descriptor will be one to display on the screen and next variable name or you can write directly of any length string then give the minimum length that you want to display you can give 5 you can give 10 first just display with 12 let's see what happens save the file and close this file to use in command line or else command line doesn't allow you to use if you don't close the file now use gcc file dot c our program has run successfully after compiling the code the file is saved in the a dot out file so to for using that file type dot slash a dot out now hello world is being printed now just let's make a change now i told you can use directly from the gui so i recommend you to use from gui if you have a lengthy code you just you're bored of opening again and again so gui will work fine with me if you are guys interested from directly command line you can use that so we have given 12 length right now just you five how much it printers just five characters save the file now I don't want to close if I am using the GUI but if I are opening through the terminal then you need to close the file so let's run again now we have compiled that file but we have made changes in the file so we need to compile it again now a dot out we got hello we got only five characters so whatever the length you will mention only that part will be printed now let's take input from the screen and display it on the screen now let's go to the file editor now i have the write function right now let's make a variable name as buff 
I'm using string array buff. I'm taking the length of 50. Now I'm going to use a read system call. First parameter will be zero to getting input from the screen. And second, the variable name that you're going to store. You can store as much as needed according to the limit that you have given to the variable. I'm taking 40. So now we are going to print the buff part. The first time the read will store it in the buffer variable. And the second time the write will print whatever we have done in that. Take the file and run it using gcc file.c. Now it is asking for input that you can type anything. I have saved my file as hello viewers and the next line the we have stored only 10 characters. So only hello view has been printed according to it. The next thing I'm going to show is what is the return type of read after executing the line we will get an integer. So that integer is the length read by or stored by the variable through the system call. If you're going to print this function, percentage %t, percentage %t, and then n and o. And guys, remember the header file that we need to use. If you don't remember, don't worry. I have a shortcut for you. Save the file. Run that. For using printf, you can see we got an hash include scdo.h. It will show the header files required. If you forget, no, no worries. Just type the code. If the header file is required, it will show the required header file. Let's go and initialize our integers int n o now include the header file stdo.h save the file and now run it again type anything So this is the character that is being printed. So after the hello world, the 14 and 10 represent the variable length stored. If we have you, we, the hello all the whatever I wrote, these are the total 14 characters. And just counting, if you are counting with the space, you will get only 13. And the extra character is of the new length. It will store the next line character also. In that so including that we have total 14 characters in the read and the 10 is we have given the limit to the write function to just display only 10 characters so it will only display 10 but if we given like you can see in the read function we have 40 characters but whatever the buffer has stored only that many characters length it will return to the end so this is all today about read and write functions system calls guys if you have liked the video please give us subscribe and if you have any doubts you can leave a message in the comment box that's it for today bye bye